Okay, look, I know it's been like a year since I've uploaded this game, but in my defense... Yeah, I got nothing. Right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Dota 2. The game that no matter how badly it treats me, I just can't seem to stop playing it. Ignore my username, by the way. I was taking a bit of a break from the game just because I've been so busy this year, but recently I've been getting back into playing and I've been having a good time, so I figured why not make a video and share it with you guys. I was actually gonna upload this game last week. I recorded a nice Spectre game for you that I thought was really fun, but then Dota released 734 and completely changed how Spectre worked, so fuck me, I guess. But I'm sure whatever game we get into today will be just as fun. I mean, I've been having absolute thrillers like this game going on recently. As you can see from the graph here, this game was looking pretty grim for most of it, but let me tell you, this is the most satisfying kind of Dota win that exists. Although on second thought, maybe I don't want to get into another game like that, because then this video is just going to be 12 minutes of me molding, followed by like two minutes of me saying, yay, we won, as if anybody wants to see that. Also, real quick before we get started here, make sure you leave a like if you are enjoying the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I can't promise I'll be super consistent with Dota content, but if enough people want to see it, I'm definitely down to make more. All right, it looks like I'm going to be allowed to play carry, I guess. So, Invoker, ugh, the literal demon of the patch. I mean, I played Gyro last game. Do I pick Gyro again for the content? They have Invoker. I feel like I shouldn't feel too bad about it. Although they do have a Sven also. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, we'll do another Gyro game. Why not? For the content. I'm pretty sure Gyro is one of the most broken heroes of the patch. That's what I've been hearing. That being said, I haven't really played this hero consistently since like, I don't know, 2015. Oh, are we going top? Level one smoke gang? Wait for me. I come with stun. The boys are organized. By the way, for all you uh, non-Dota fans out there, I will do my best to explain what I'm doing. No promises on whether my explanations will actually be any good. For one thing, I'm not exactly a gyrocopter expert over here, and I am also by no means a pro Dota player, so... Hey, we got first blood. Nice. I didn't even have to do anything. I think I have to TP bottom here, though, which kind of sucks. Alright, this axe is determined to be a pain in the butt, I see. <laughs> oh, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. I am a gyrocopter, my friend. I attack faster than you. Although the uh, lane's about to push out here, which is not so good. Nope. What? Did you see how far away that melee attack was? The hell was that? There we go. Easy kill for me. Gonna be honest, I didn't really mean to do that, but it happened. So yeah, like I was kind of saying in the intro there, Gyro is, according to a lot of like streamers and pros and shit, one of the best heroes in the patch. So I'm kind of testing that out, you know? It'll be nice to have a little bit of variety. I spend a lot of time playing very similar heroes. Even though I do tend to stick to unranked, it's not necessarily that I'm like tryharding. It's more just, you know, I like to play what I'm comfortable with because I don't play a whole lot of Dota these days. Oh shit, I'm dead. No, actually, I think I'm fine. Yeah, I am fine. But yeah, I don't play a whole ton of Dota these days in that I'm able to, like, you know, keep up some massive hero pool where I can just pick something different every game. Even though it is unranked, I don't want to necessarily be, like, griefing games here, you know? Is this guy fucking serious? Dude, why does Invoker spells do so much level two? So I know I just said that uh, Gyrocopter is one of the most broken heroes this patch. I think it's pretty safe to say at this point that Invoker is the most broken hero this patch. It's uh, kind of not even close and it's really, really bad. People are playing him support, mid. I've seen some people saying you can play him carry. Like, this shit is not okay, dude. Also, how's my mid going? Not great. At the very least, his axe is playing the lane very passively, which is nice. This guy could definitely be screwing with me a lot more. So I think I need like a clarity or a mango or something. Oh my god, I'm dead. No, please. Oh, he missed the call. Nice. Help me. Okay, I have no regen left. I think I need a salve. I'm actually kind of lucky that this axe isn't a little bit better. This is one of the reasons, and it's kind of like a scummy reason, but it's one of the reasons I prefer playing unranked to ranked. As a uh, carry player, the offlaners tend to be a little bit worse. More often than not, the offlaners in my games are people who don't play offlane on a regular basis. They're usually like core players who get forced into it, or they're people like trying to party queue or whatever. So there's like a lot of things that you can do as an offlaner, like really screw with a carry and make their lives miserable. That like, for example, this axe, is not doing right now, right? But anyway, we're actually playing this lane fine. Like I said, I got a kill on it. That's good. And I'm farming okay. I kill this guy? Maybe? Okay, I got him. That was fine. Honestly, it uh, could have been a lot worse, I think. Now, as far as my build this game, I could go Maelstrom, but I went Maelstrom last game. It felt pretty good, but I kind of want to try this crit build. So when you play Gyrocopter, for those of you like non-Dota players, your first item typically is Maelstrom, but recently I've been seeing a lot of people buy uh, Chrysalis first item, which sort of serves the same purpose. It's like a farming item. It's meant to speed up your, uh, your game, essentially. Now, I think it's a little bit less effective as a farming tool, more so playing the game under the assumption that you're going to have like a really efficient farming pattern, which to be honest, I probably am not going to. Also, Axe has Vanguard. We, like, can't fuck with him anymore. But uh, I kind of want to try this Chrysalis build. I want to see how it feels. If I end up, like, not farming enough and throwing the game, it is what it is, I guess. 
All right, my Ember got one back on the uh, Windrunner. Very nice. Fuck. Okay, Chrysalis online. And now we farm the Aghanim Scepter. So Ags on Gyrocopter gives me this little, like, extra attack, basically. It's uh, a lot of damage, and it just got buffed, so it's kind of what makes the hero so good. I mean, not that it was, like, incredible before. Gyro was kind of a dead hero up until this patch. Maybe not a dead hero, but he wasn't great. Also, I'm just keeping an eye on my mid lane. I do have a pretty strong ultimate attack, so I could maybe come help. Well, I don't think I should. I think the uh, correct thing to do right now is for me to farm. Yeah, my team seems fine. I'm just gonna farm. This is what you do on this hero. You get a lot of gold very fast. Or you're supposed to, Anyway, I mean, I'm probably not doing the best job of it. There is an axe here with a vanguard, though. That's a little scary. Um, honestly, I can't really tell if that was any faster than with the Maelstrom. I'm, like, trying to use this game as a litmus test to see which one I prefer. I don't actually know which one I prefer, though. Also, I killed his uh, kobold. He's probably really sad about that. But I think I'm on a ward here. That's probably not the best thing for me to be doing. Hey, there's a ward here to Ember. I think they're gonna see you. My poor Ember. He had no idea. I guess I should have pinged that first. It's my fault. Yeah, my bad. I should have pinged that first. Sorry. Oh, boy. I am unsure what is going on here. Holy shit, we're all dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh my god, help! Help! Run! Please, team! Brave me, Dazzle! There's no mana. Alright, that was really bad. I actually just threw my whole game. Holy shit. Why did I do that? I mean, at least Darkseer's kind of pushing the tower up here a little, I guess. Alright, now's the part where I retreat into the jungle and come back out when I have my items. I think that is correct. Also, me TPing down here was a horrible idea. I don't know why I did this. This was so stupid. This is what I was talking about with uh, buying this Chrysalis item, meaning I need to be more efficient, like, with my farming patterns and stuff. I am definitely not being efficient right now, that is for sure. I'm trying to be, but, uh, like I said, I am by no means a professional Dota player, so the things that I do will not always be the best thing to do, as evidenced by that play under the tower over here. I mean, if I can get a decent timing on this Aghanim Scepter, I think I should be fine. Like, I did definitely grief my game a little bit there, but, uh, I mean, it could be worse. I could be, like, feeding right now, you know? Taking stupid fights and feeding is like the, uh, cryptic special, I think. I love doing that. That's my favorite. I can drop call down, but I kind of don't want to fight here. I mean, we can try, I guess. Okay, got a kill. Very good. Almost got two kills, actually. Oh, no, run. We're gonna get the triple Sven. Let him let him waste God's strength. Just get out. Oh, my God. That was so stupid. It kind of worked. He's invisible. He's invisible. Invoker's here. All right, nice. We got a kill. This is a complete waste of my time, by the way. I should not be doing this, but I'm gonna go farm top. You guys can work on this. What an incredible game Dota 2 is, guys. Let me tell you. All right, so my team's gonna get that tower. At least I hope they're going to get the tower. I have my Aghanim Scepter, and now my hero is online. By the way, this game does not feel like it is 12 to 5. It feels like we have a much smaller lead than that. I'm on my way mid. This is going good. This actually could not be going any better right now, I think. Holy shit, my Ember is owning. After uh, losing mid to Windrunner, he's finally owning. This is good. All right, so now I think I want this Satanic item. I feel like I need to be able to live. If I can live, I can hit them, and if I can hit them, then we win the game. I see Gyrocopters all the time with 10k net worth at like 15 minutes. I don't even have 10k yet, and we're almost at 20. Like, I could be doing considerably better than I am right now, but I don't necessarily think I need to be. I mean, we're sort of owning them at this point, right? Like, I think this is fine for what it's worth. I should probably join my team at this point. I'm like very strong. I think playing away from them is a mistake. I'm almost here if you guys want to try this. On my way. Oh my heaven. Help me, team! Never mind, I got him. Hey, Invoker bought back. I can't tell if that's a rage buyback or if he actually thinks he can do something here. But this is fine. I think we're just winning the game now. By the way, that ult by me was hilariously bad. That was a panic click and a half. But we almost have Satanic, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. So what Satanic will allow me to do is essentially, even if I take a bunch of damage, I can just heal back up to full, which is made really strong by my flat cannon letting me hit like multiple targets. It basically just gives me a shit ton of lifesteal. Very powerful. I'm pretty sure they don't really have a good way to kill me now that I have this item. Well, now we're kind of at this point in the game where there's not a whole ton for me to do. We're kind of just waiting for the team to be ready to go high ground, I'm kind of ready, but now we should probably take Roche first, I think. I'll push the lane out, just go get it started. I mean, I think this is correct, right? I think we take Aegis and then go high ground, because they're not going to leave. Oh, they know. They're here, they're here, they're here. Holy shit, this is bad, actually. Never mind, it's fine! Just take it. Holy Warlock. Yo, my Warlock is owning. That's insane, actually. All right, now we go high ground, I think. Well, Sven's up in six, but he has no ultimate. All of Sven's damage comes from this ability, which he doesn't have at the moment, so I think we're actually fine. He's gonna try and blink call. Just hit him. 
I don't think he can do anything. Holy shit, what is going on here? Sends here. <laughs> I'm going in. Holy shit, there's the normal punch. All right, clean and easy game, boys. I have no idea how long this video is gonna be because this was so quick, but you know. Sorry if this one was a bit all over the place, by the way. I uh, haven't made a Dota video in a long time. I'm never really sure what to talk about, especially when the game's going this well. I mean, this is like, I don't know. Do I even upload this? Is this like too boring? Whatever, maybe the next one will be more entertaining. Yeah, this, uh, this is Gyrocopter Hero. I'm not entirely sure about it, to be honest. I'm not getting any of these kills, by the way. This is really annoying. I think they gave up, guys. We can just end the game. Yeah, like I said, I don't really know about this gyrocopter hero. I mean, obviously this was a very easy game, but I kind of feel like how strong this hero feels is not proportional to how good I am at it, which usually means the hero is not balanced, right? Somehow I got second in the MVP race. I'm not really sure how that happens. Although I did do the most damage. See, this is how you can tell your contribution to the game right here. My kill score might not look so good, but I did do the most damage. Counts for something. Anyway, I think that's about it for this one. Sorry if it was a little short or simple or lacking any kind of drama. Obviously, that was a very straightforward game. Regardless, though, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more Dota videos like this one. Like I said at the beginning, I can't promise I'll be super consistent with this, just what with everything else I got going on on the channel. But if enough people want to see it, I'm happy to make more videos. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, definitely make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to come back for more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.